Hubbub is an open access publishing platform working towards the socialization of knowledge creation. Um, and so everything published within our current 62 communities on there is um, under CC BY license. All of our code is open and accessible for anyone who wants to kind of tinker with it and, and check it out. Um, and it's currently in its fourth iteration. It began in 2015 at the MIT Media Lab as part of a project at the Viral Communications Group there. Um, and at the time, two graduate students kind of like looked around and said, wow, like everyone around us is not um, really working in ways that fit neatly into uh, traditional scholarly publishing structures. So they were working across groups, they were gathering feedback during demos of their work, um, and it was a really kind of messy, nonlinear, open-ended process. So um, PubPub arose for use just within the Media Lab at first to um, help people work and publish in a way that reflected and even kind of plugged into their research process. Um, so recently, I'd say within the past year, the, the MIT Press has gotten more involved in uh, supporting and helping develop the platform for their own open access books and journals, um, and just in general supporting other communities on there. Um, and so right now, two main questions are guiding our development. The first is how can publishers promote the open and collaborative nature of some research? And um, how can we also make work accessible worldwide in a way that stimulates um, discussion across disciplines and in real time? Um, let's see. This conference, actually, let me move around a little bit. So this conference has sort of helped me realize some of the topics that our team has been thinking through and grappling with but haven't really put words toward. Um, so yesterday's uh, talk by the Norton team and even in the previous talk just before this, um, we talked a little bit about social and antisocial annotation. Um, and it got me thinking of the ways and purposes and times we use different kinds of annotation. Um, and also just things that we consider to be annotation. Um, so just the apparatus around a text that's not the text itself, but still guides and shapes our understanding of what we're reading and even evokes our own different ways of um, interacting with it. Um, that can all be annotation. Um, and we talked a little bit about um, you know, kind of self-annotation, the things you do in private, the highlights, the notes in the margin that help you understand a work better, um, discussions you'd leave for, say, other people reading your classmates, um, and then notes that you also leave for authors themselves. And it's this last use case that we've been more, more interested in kind of playing around with. Um, even in the original use case at the Media Lab and then in a more recent way that the press has been using it for works and books in progress, um, we are really kind of prioritizing annotation as it relates to the editing process. So annotation as editing, editing as annotation, um, and thinking of uh, like revision as a response in a discussion and um, as a response to different types of annotation. So when variants and version history themselves are annotations of the original and even of the scholarly, pub, uh, scholarly pub, uh, process, sorry. So zooming out a bit, PubHub aims to treat publication as a step in a larger process and not in it itself as a terminus. Um, let's see, I'll give you some examples. Um, so some of the platform's features treat annotation more broadly as all of the things around a text that comment on it and shape our understanding of it. Um, and some of uh, PubPub's features kind of prioritize these things. So let me just go to a sample article. Hold on. Um, so this is an article by Joey Ito, the director of the Media Lab. It was um, in the third issue of the Journal of Design and Science. And um, here you kind of see that their, all the contributors are listed, their roles are specified if you click on all of them. Um, it has 34 <laughs> versions that you can check out um, and visit. Um, and let's see, it has 128 discussions. So let's see what they look like. You can have inline discussions that you can then kind of reply to. The discussions also are all collected at the bottom. Some have more conversation in them than others. One great feature that has been really useful for our authors and readers is that um, you can embed discussion threads and annotations right in a text. So um, 
you can, just like it's a video or an image or something. So you can actually um, draw attention to really um, insightful comments and annotations, or um, an author can even embed a question they have that says, you know, hey, I'm having a hard time working through this part of you know the piece. Can people leave comments on this and help me out here or there? Um, so that's that's just one example of that. Some other um, features that we've been working on are multimedia embeds in pubs, but also in discussions themselves, um, gated and ungated drafts, um, discussions um, pre and post publication, um, and various privacy and access options for pubs and uh, for comments. So um, our goals are really to create more links between creators and consumers, writers and readers, um, and to turn the process of creating a publication into part of what it can communicate, um, and therefore part of its actual value. Um, and so up next for us, uh, hopefully more collaborations with some of you guys here. Um, we're hiring new people to help with our UI and branding, which I'll be the first to say needs a lot of help. And um, we actually have some exciting events coming up, so if anyone uh, happens to be in New York this weekend, uh, there's a launch event for a totally different type of pub pub community um, it's a launch of Franken Book for the 200th anniversary of Frankenstein. Um, it's at Pioneer Works, and I can give you more information about that. It's a celebration of the book, it's a celebration of the tool, um, and it should be pretty fun. And um, on June 21st, if uh, you're in Cambridge, uh, the MIT Press is hosting a launch of um, a new uh, initiative of the Media Lab and the Press called the Knowledge Futures Group. Uh, Pub Pub will be one of two um, initial projects of the Knowledge Futures Group, and it's basically an incubator to um, incubate and deploy open source technologies that we're going to be starting. So um, there'll be some activities, some talks there, and I would love to see some of you there if you can make it. Um, please come by and ask me questions and you know set up some demos and things like that. Thank you very much. <laughs>